In today's video, I'm opening an insane Yu-Gi-Oh package. What's up guys, we're back with another mail opening video, but this mail involves a collection and a couple of different other things. This collection's really nice, so you wanna keep an eye out. Before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Heavy Storm 10 BCCG. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about the mail that we got. There's some good stuff and some interesting stuff to comment on. All right, so a couple of these are fan mail and one is a collection. So we haven't done fan mail in a while, but I have a couple of things that I wanna show because they're pretty interesting. So let's pull this out. Uh, I don't wanna show anybody's details or anything. So we have a note for this one. We we have Ruxin. I watch your channel daily as it makes me happy to see the cards. I especially like the older cards between 2002 and 2005. Me too. Me too. Because it reminds me of my childhood. I stopped around the end of XCs because Pendulum got confusing. Yeah, nobody likes Pendulum. Let's be honest. I'm back, but more as a collector now. I got you this gift as it is a way of showing my appreciation for your work. It closes the first edition Magician Souls with red lettering as a giveaway. P.S. You can show it on channel if you would like. Cool. We are doing that right now. So this will be included in the giveaway Magician Souls with red letters. I mean, that's probably still worth it decent amount because Magician Souls is an awesome card, not just in Dark Magician, but in other decks as well. All right, let's show you guys what Sean got me. Sean got me a framed petite moth so this is i mean i thought this it had to be on the channel because it's just too awesome and related to the channel so sean thank you so much for the giveaway and for sending this i'm glad you're enjoying the videos let's go to the next package then we have a package from hungary that i may or may not have a missing message because there's a bunch of stuff i mean there's obviously messages here but i feel like there would be another one but maybe not there's five different packages so i think they're like going in order they have numbers on them so this is number one so we'll start off with this this says let's start with something big or small because these are half size cards. Yes, they exist with upside down card backs. Interesting. So we're going to see what this is. I don't know how to read this guy's name who sent this. So we're just going to go and maybe he'll say his name later. But if you're from Hungary, you probably know if you sent this. All right, let's open up the first one. Half size cards, he says. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to open this up. This is the number one. There's four more things to open up. Then we have the collection to open up. Oh, okay. whoa, the tiniest cards. What is happening here? So these are obviously not real cards. As you can see, they are, uh, they're like the fake cards, but they are half size. So we have question right there. Oh, okay. It looks like they have the right names. Element Valkyrie. Those are correct. Deck devastation. These are so small. Look at this. Or I have giant hands. One of the two. Which one is it? Prince of the devil's underworld hands or hardest or hards. I don't know what that says. Mask monster. Julie. Hey, Julie. How's it going? Needle barrier. We have bird face. Yes. The bird face. Go giga. Gaga gigo. That is correct. We have Roaring Ocean Snake. Man, look how off-centered these are. Wow, they would not grade well. Heaven King, uh, they spelled Shinado wrong. Sphinx Telia. Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. They got that one right. That one is in uh, nostalgic condition for sure. Slifer, the Sky Dragon. Dinosaur Guarding Pillbox? No way! Dinosaur Guarding Pillbox. What a name. Wow. Okay, that is interesting. He's guarding the pillbox. We have a... What is that? What? Majestic Fighter Making... What? That's not even English, I don't think. That is insane. Ojama King, we have DD Dynamite. Whirlpool Bird? We have Mechanical Dragon, that's pretty accurate. Arm Dragon, the Winged Dragon of Ra. The Card from Monster, Call from Monster, Moisture Creature, Delta Attacker. Wow, this is insane. We have Great Angel, the uh, Swordsman, Zaborg, the Legendary Fisherman, a Space Mambo, the Water Bubble Knight of Element Hero, Fury Lobster. I love these old cards. They have some crazy names. Or fake cards, I should say. Uh, they're also old, probably. Oh, we have Lugamina, Man of Cotton Candy. <laughs> the Man of Cotton Candy is at it again. So, wow, that was an interesting start for sure. Then we go to number two, uh, Ultimate Rare, Gold Rare, Secret Rare. Nope, Gold Ultimate Rare. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Gold Ultimate Rare. What will it be? Are these all fake cards? <laughs> They've got, they might be. Alien Soldier, I'm not going to lie. This kind of looks nice, though, if we had this. It kind of looks like the new ulti, but like mixed with a gold rare. Alien Soldier, Gangnir, Dweller, Warrior, the Devil Shilopod, Jim Beast, Amber Mammoth. That's pretty close. Dark Beelzebub. Wow, that is scary. Gravity Behemoth, Element Zero, Magma Neos, and Anti or Antique Gear Golem. Okay. So those are very shiny. I mean, that's what I feel like the golds would look like, except probably a little more quality. All right, so are there any non-fake cards in here? That's the question. Let's find out. Hungarian fake cards. Oh, <laughs> they are fake. It's quite acceptable. The Ancient Elf is a standard quality print. On the sword, they forgot to edit the text to fit in equip symbol and just put it somewhere nearby. The anti-spell is a lower quality, especially with the back. By choose is even worse, and the back is just, what, WTF? Yeah, okay. So we're looking at Hung Hungary. It looks like you guys need to get some cards that are not fake. We have the Blue Eyes White Dragon. 
That is interesting. Oh, is that a secret rare print with no secret rare foiling? They have the lines and they don't have any foiling. Interesting. Ancient Elf, okay. Sword of, just what in the world? <laughs> yeah, is that what he was talking about? There's just a random thing up there. Flame Manipulator, same with that one. Anti-spell, they're everywhere. Bite shoes, woo, not great. And oh, wow, bite shoes is just, whoa, look at the back of these. Whoa, those look, uh, those look wild. Okay, that is interesting. Number four, diamond tier cards with extra 100 points. Low quality, who cares? My cards are better because they are stronger. Okay, I'm not sure what these translations mean at this point, or these uh, these little like descriptions, but we'll find out. So we have strong cards coming up. We have Hyozenru, right leg of the forbidden one. We have crab turtle. And wait, oh, Labyrinth Wall and a Whip Tail. Wait, why is that strong? Whip Tail Crow. Is it even that much? I feel like that's too much attack. I don't feel like it's not that big. Okay, okay, what's up next? Google Translate? Nope, these are even worse. Alien Hunter reads this card, can use it just when a pointer is on the field. Allowed attack once more. Whoa, attack defense, what is that? It means in and out. It's instead of attack and defense, it says in and out. Huge off center warning. Okay, you know, you know we gotta we gotta keep an eye out for that. Let's see what's inside these. We have the, they, what does that say? I don't know. Uh, these, yeah, these are, these are wild. What does that say? Whoa, look at that name. That's insane. Off center warning. Whoa, we got a misprint. And look at this one. This thing is like literally on the other card. They were the DD warrior. Wow, that is insane. Yeah, if you graded something like that, it'd definitely be a miscut. All right, our last one, legendary collection, Weevil Underwood. Oh yeah, now we're talking. This is what they need to make soon. Oh, we got some, wait, real cards? Oh, first this, injecting cylinder. Very cool. <gasps> Ooh, we got a Bandai Grande Moth. A Petite Moth. That's Portuguese. Let's go. Or Spanish, I should say. Yeah, not Pequeno. Of course, we should know that. Wait, how many are in here? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait, whoa, look at all these different ones. Petite Papillon? It's a French. I've never seen this before. A French moth. This has to go in the, the moth collection. We have Pico Felina. Picola Felina, I should say. Pico Felina is a act another B trooper card, right? That is a uh what is that? I think that's Italian. Okay, that's amazing. And then we have a German, the Klein Mate, and then the Bagano Moth. Dude, look at this collection of moths. That might be the coolest moth collection ever. This is going in a binder somewhere. That is amazing. All right, unfortunately, I don't know who that was from, but that was amazing. So thank you for sending that. I actually remembered we have one more epic package that was sent to me from Brad, and I wanted to open this up before we get into the huge package for this video. So he sent me a couple of cards that I need for my binder and he was like, don't worry, just pay shipping. And that was all he wanted. He didn't even want me to pay him for him. So he sent in a few extra cards. So we have a Fried for Sabretooth, Turbo Warrior. You might be able to see someone peeking out back there. A Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Unlimited Ghost Shirt, which I need for my binder because I do not have Unlim. And then he sent us a number 107 Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon Ghost Shirt as well. Both Unlimited, both that I needed for my binder. So this is really epic of him. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a huge edition then a couple more cards i feel like i might need that one too so we might be getting a few epic cards here and i think that he said he wanted to put these in the giveaway these extra cards so these three will be included in our giveaway as well so it's a pretty big giveaway in this video all right the final package has insane cards in it but it has uh addresses and stuff so i'm not going to show that on camera but then we'll get the cards out all right here are our cards there are only i think six cards in this in this collection it's a pretty big one though like very expensive but only six cards so keep an eye out guys in the next couple of minutes. So as soon as I get this open, it's gonna cut right now. <laughs> All right, guys, here are the cards. They are top loaded up. They are sleeved, which is nice. Let's see what they're looking like inside. So first of all, we have a Majestic Star Ghost Rare. So obviously, nice cards. You can already see a little whitening at the top. I think a couple of these were not near mint. I think it was this one, and I think it was this corner up here, maybe. You guys can see that. But the foiling on it looks really clean. I mean, it looks really, really nice. Then there is a big bend down there. Yeah, I think that we knew about this. I think. I got to double check what how we priced them. But I haven't paid anything yet. But he sent it in just to be, like, uh, confirmed. Like, he told me about this. And then he told me about one other thing. So, yeah, there's the crease. I couldn't see it that well. Yeah, that thing is pretty beat up. I think we did have this, like, heavy play. So, that's okay. I would, I would put it, like, between heavy play and damage. It just depends on. Because sometimes damage can be, like, absolutely destroyed so this is like nice besides those but obviously that does a lot of damage to the condition but really beautiful first edition Stardust Overdrive Majestic Star I don't have this for my binder but obviously it's not near mint so it would be like a permanent fixture but maybe I will put it in my binder okay that's a great start huh well we got five more cards that's probably like the lowest end so that's just showing you something then we have 
an ultimate rare dark arm dragon remember we pulled a couple of these ourselves but you can never have too many dark arm dragons right here we go i mean to grade my other ones and i just haven't done it they're just kind of chilling right now so we have ultimate rare the front looks really good this is from turbo pack six back oh, man this looks pack pulled i mean it looks really nice it was supposed to be near mint and this is at least near mint i mean it does have the the box on the back but it does look really really good so dad it's not like centered super well it's not like terrible but at the same time it's not awesome so it probably wouldn't like grade a 10 with the back thing and then that but still i mean in terms of just a quality card like this is amazing and it's also extremely expensive all right we have four more cards what's the next one uh, ancient fairy dragon ghost man we are having some nice looking cardboard today guys this is insane look at that the foiling on these ghost rares is amazing ancient fairy let's see what it's looking like inside of the sleeve so first of all we have really clean i mean check out that front looks to be pretty good from what i can see this foiling looks great back looks to be pretty good he had a couple notes for a couple cards i don't remember if it was this one i feel like it was a different one though that looks great i mean it looks awesome it's off centered a little bit but other than that very nice looking ghost rare ancient fairy dragon beautiful foil i mean you can't really go wrong with these old school ghost rares oh by the way we're leading up to some other stuff so just yeah i'm sure you guys can give it a guess what's up next stardust dragon first edition ghost rare wow now we're talking i I'm, I'm not kidding i had a dream last night that i pulled one of these i dream about pulling cards i know guys it's insane i dreamed i pulled one in like a card shop so that will be cool if that comes true one day but hopefully i mean this is going to be an amazing looking card as well sitting's pretty good on this foiling's pretty good back has a little bit of stuff going on with it but it's not terrible i'll take a look at it later but honestly pretty nice condition it's got some backwards warping like it's warping this way like the opposite way of where it normally would but still pretty awesome looking stardust dragon i mean these are huge huge ghost rares and they're very expensive so that's an awesome card maybe one day my dream will come true and we'll pull one all right two more then we have a majestic red i think this is one of the ones that had like an issue i think it was supposed to be lightly played or something like that maybe like a corner or something i can't remember what it was but the foiling's looking good on it oh maybe it's up here it's got like a yeah it's got kind of a bend going there which is not awesome but you know we knew there was something going on with it yeah it's kind of yeah that top lip other than that it's such so nice it has a tiny little indent right there foiling looks awesome i mean it's a great looking card just has that one issue but wow first ed ghost rare from absolute power force dude these look so good we got to get a little, little little clip of these at the end like all together and the final card you can probably guess what this one is it's another huge one the black rose dragon we once had a psa 10 of the of this card but uh i ended up selling it because it was a very expensive card and it was a good offer so i i went ahead and took it but this is a card i would love to have again even not in psa 10 and that foiling looks incredible the back of this one looks pretty a giant print line right there you can see a little bit going on on the top right here whoa is that bent can you guys see that the top might be bent you guys can see it might be bent up there. I don't know if we'll be able Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's not a huge bend, but as you can see, it kind of just bends a little bit more at the end. So it's a little bit of a bend there that you wouldn't really see that easily. But that was something that you would get like a seven or a six in grading and you would have no idea why because you just misses it. Like it's, it's easy to miss because it looks like it's a normal card. But yeah, that is definitely unfortunate. I didn't realize that one. I don't think he caught that one at first as well. But still, honestly, really good condition for a card like this and still an amazing card. All right, just a little fun here. We have five Ghost Rares. It's hard to get them all at once. Uh, maybe if I turn them kind of like that. Yeah, we can kind of get them all. I mean, it looks insane. Those five amazing Ghost Rare cards. So pretty awesome collection to pick up. If you guys enjoyed this video in the mail, let me know in the comments and subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Toe and Foe Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Mycycle, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then a tie show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McClain. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.